Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this lecture, we are going to see Kannada fights of 16th July 2023. So without wasting any time, let us see brief introduction regarding the topic. And even you are going to see deep analysis of the topic and which of the static syllabus is important. We are also going to discuss that so that you can I can get an idea like so how to connect our newspaper current fights with the static syllabus and wherever it is necessary. We are also going to discuss maths and today is Sunday. So Sunday's paper is important to cover science and technology and as well as environment and ecology related current fights. So don't skip the Sunday's newspaper. Okay, and in the Sunday's newspaper, we will be not getting any editorials or op-ed. Okay, so whichever the articles which are important from our UPC point of view, we are going to discuss that. So the first topic it is about India-UAE relations. So here you have to see the map of UAE where exactly it is located and you have to see whether it is having boundary with any water body or not. So if, if there is any boundary, you have to see which is the water body and you have to see the countries which are bondering with that country as well because there is a high chance of getting question in your UPSC prelims regarding this countries which are sharing boundary okay so this year you got a question regarding Ukraine last year regarding Afghanistan so because of this you need to be very careful with this maps so here this article says about India and UAE they are going to set trade in rupee and dirham so rupee is Indian currency and dirham is UAE currency. So why? Why? Because if you have seen this Russia and Ukraine conflict. So because of this Russia and Ukraine conflict, Russia had been banned from SWIFT. At that time, so when you are going for trade with Russia, so payment should be done in normally in dollars. So because of this ban of Russia and SWIFT, it is very difficult to go for trade within with dollars. So that time, at that time, India and Russia came with trade in Rubel and as well as Yuan. Yuan is Chinese currency. So because of this, now India and UAE, they are going to have trade with Rupee and as well as Dirham. So this article is important from international relations, which comes in as US paper too. And next topic is cookies, meaties stick to their, religion, to their regions by rejoining work. So here you have to know about recent money poor issue. So already we discussed about that. And European Parliament also came up with one resolution regarding this Manipur violence. And now we have to know about this cookies and as well as meaties. So these are the communities who are living in this Manipur. So this article is important from internal security. And if you are from anthropology point of view or if you are seeing this article from anthropology point of view, you have to see the different types. And next topic is about Aishman Bharat. So Aishman Bharat embraces artificial intelligence to tackle fraud. So this article is talking about one important scheme that is Aishman Bharat. So you have to see that. And actually because of this Aishman Bharat scheme nowadays there is increased fraud in lot of hospitals. And now we are using artificial intelligence to identify that frauds. And this topic is important from science and technology. And here you can add one more application of artificial intelligence that is to identify even frauds in the government schemes. And next topic it is about sex ratio. So what is a sex ratio that is nothing but number of females to male. But what happened in India especially we have sun preference, sun meta preference that means every woman or every family they will think that they need to have a son. So whenever they know that they are carrying female okay in their womb so many a times we can see female feticide that is we are killing female inside the womb itself because there is sun meta preference so in this patriarchal society sun meta preference is there in india so because of this now we can see there are less number of female to the male and you have to find out the sex ratio of your state and let me know in the comment box to which state you are belonging and what is the sex ratio of your state and next topic it is about pollution effect so because of increasing of pollution it is also having negative impact in insects insects they can't go for searching of feed and as well as mate because of this increased pollution so because their antenna antenna that means if you see this is insect so they will be having like this. So this will be the antenna. So this antenna will be very helpful for searching of food, for searching of mate. It is a sensory thing. 
little sensory organ of this so and so insect but because of pollution so on this antenna whenever this pollutants like dust uh, like uh, particulate matter which is settling on this antenna what happened the sensory receptor the sensory thing which is present in this receptor this antenna that will be decreased so because of this they can't go for finding out of their feed and as well as meat so this is the impact of pollution so impact of pollution not only in humans but even in insects that we can see and the next topic is about global temperature so in because of increasing of global temperature especially there is increased needing uh, increased need of uh, cooling cooling things like if you are talking about acs if you are talking about coolers right so we are using fridge refrigerators etc right so because of increasing of global temperature there is increased demand for cooling objects and next topic is about gene editing technology that is crispr so crispr sas9 what is it so this question appeared in 2018 upsc prelims so whenever you are seeing any technology you have to know what is it as well so crispr genetic uh, editing tool is better wood by wood fibers so we are we are going to use this uh, crispr sas9 technology even for the wood as well so this topic is important from your science and technology and next topic it is about chat gpt so i think many of you might started using this chat gpt right so i am also using this chat gpt nowadays and it is very easy when you are comparing with that of google as well so here because of this using of this chat gpt it is boosting the productivity so this article is important from your science and technology and this article why i am discussing because so this is important even from your mains students who are going to write this year mains so they can get a question regarding this chat gpt for sure and next topic it is role of artificial intelligence assisted medical devices in healthcare delivery so now we are using this artificial intelligence not only to identify the frauds in government schemes but even we can use this artificial intelligence in the medical devices as well right so this topic is also important from your science and technology so these are the list of the topics that we are going to discuss in this lecture so let's get started so first topic it is about india uae relations so now i want to give you homework as well so you have to refer or you have to do some research regarding india uae relations for example political relations economic relations like trade defense relations security relations right so you have to see the different areas even indian diaspora which is present in uae so now let's try to see this topic so india and uae set to use rupee and dirham for trade so now let's try to understand why we are coming up with this type of memorandum of understanding so actually you know that our prime minister he is on visit to france in return he also visited uae so india moved a step closer for increasing of circulation of rupee in the gulf region and india came up with signing of two memorandum of understanding between reserve bank of india and as well as central bank of uae so with these two memorandum of understandings here uae president and as well as our prime minister they were on one day visit to this gulf country and actually this type of memorandum of understanding or this is the first agreement which is signed between rbi and as well as uae central bank and they want to establish a framework to promote the use of local currencies for cross border transactions and if you are talking about the second memorandum of understanding it is between the two central banks and this second memorandum of understanding which aimed to interlink the payment and as well as messaging systems and the leaders expressed their interest in strengthening cooperation in payment systems and even they were focusing on enabling the cross border transactions etc so whenever we are using the local money for the trade so it will be very helpful for the transactions between the two countries and actually they are also coming up with domestic scheme acceptance uh, as well and they are also coming up with interlinking of national card switches so integration between these systems that will also enhance the access to payment services so this will benefit the citizens and as well as residents of the two countries so if we are talking about these two agreements on memorandum of understanding which is between the central bank which came against the backdrop of indian entities which are commencing the payment in yuan in russian energy majors so actually because of this uh, russia ukraine conflict russia has been boycotted or banned from the swift payment system 
So because of this, we came up with the rupee ruble pay, uh, payment systems or rupee ruble trade between India and Russia, and as well as payment in yuan to Russia energy majors as well. So because of this, we are also coming with the use, using of this domestic money in this trade between India and UAE. So we're talking about the map. So this is UAE, that is United Arab Emirates, and here we have Persian Gulf. Okay, and this Gulf. Uh, and here we have Gulf of Oman and we are here we are having a small channel or a strait which is connecting this Persian Gulf with this Gulf of Oman. Okay, that is Strait of Hormuz. So, we are talking about the countries which are sharing boundary here. So, here we have Saudi Arabia, here we have Oman and here also we have Oman. So, this is the countries. So, these are the countries which are sharing the boundary with UAE. And now let us see the one important topic related to this that is what is this Gulf Cooperation Council. So we are talking about this Gulf Cooperation Council. It is a political and as well as economic alliance of six countries in Arabian Peninsula. So in this uh, Gulf Cooperation Council which are the countries. So we have six countries that is we have Bahrain, we have Kuwait, we have Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. So, as of this Gulf Cooperation Council established in 1981 and this Gulf Cooperation Council which promotes economic, security, cultural, social cooperation between these six states and they hold a summit every year and they will be discussing cooperation and as well as regional affairs. And all current member states they are monarchies that means they are ruled by the kings including three constitutional monarchies. So we have three constitutional monarchies in three countries that is Qatar, Kuwait and Bahrain and two absolute monarchies of Saudi Arabia and Oman and one federal monarchy that is UAE. So from this area also you can expect a prelims question. And now let us see the next topic it is about Manipur issue. So here title says cookies, meaties stick to their regions while rejoining the work. So this article is important from internal security and even we can study this topic under tribes that comes at a society. So these are the topics that are very important from your prelims and as well as from your means. Especially Manipur violence and the European Parliament resolution is important from your means. So if you see context it says that Manipur government invoked no work no pay order for government staff who stayed away from work due to prevailing situation in the state. So especially the people who are belonging to the cookies and meaties who are having this government uh, jobs or who are doing service for the government in the government. So the government came up with this concept called as no work no pay. If they are not working there will be no pay. So if your city tells the order issued the officers to report for the duty which has led to the members of Kuki community. They are joining the work in the hill districts and Meiti community, they are joining the work in the valley areas. So we are talking about Kukis, who are they exactly? So these Kukis, they are an ethnic group and they comprise of multiple tribes who originally inhabited northeastern states of our country and even they are present in Myanmar and as well as Bangladesh as well. And what is this term Kuki? So Kuki is not a term which is coined by ethnic group itself but it is usually used generally for the tribes who are associ associated with the colonial rule. And actually they are present in all North Indian states except Arunachal Pradesh. So this is also one prelims fact. And around 50 tribes of uh, Kukis in India they are recognized as scheduled caste. Sorry, scheduled tribes. Okay, they are coming under the scheduled tribes. And if you are talking about ethnic conflicts in Manipur, so which are the major ethnic conflicts? So first one is Naga Kuki clash, second one is Kuki Zomi and next one is Meeti Meeti Pangals issues. So you have to know about this. So first one is Naga Kuki clash. So it is because of land. Okay, so it is because of land. So here Kuki claims that uh, their homeland in Manipur hills, it is overlapping with greater Naga land or Nagaling. So because of this, yes, there is an issue between these Nagas and Kukis. And next one is Kuki Zomi. So actually in 1993, a massacre of Kukis, which mainly seen because of this NSCN Isaac Moaya. 
okay and because of this kuki zomi tribes they or they organized various armed groups as reaction to the aggression of panakas and next one is metis and meti pangals they are muslim meti pangals are muslims so the similar clashes they were taking place between these two and finally that led to islamist group uh, people's united liberation front but it is no longer active now so these are the countries that are seen in this money pot and next topic it is about ayushman bharat so ayushman bharat is using artificial intelligence to tackle fraud so if you see context it says that since inception 5 years ago so we came up with this ayushman bharat scheme and now we are imposing penalties penalties on individuals and as well as on the hospitals which did fraud under this scheme that is pradhan uh, that is ayushman bharat pradhan region arogya yojana so we are conducting anti fraud drive so if you see about 5.3 lakh aishman cards they had been disabled and about 210 hospitals deep impaneled and 188 hospitals suspended so it is based on the information of fraud which obtained through machine learning based anti fraud programs and up to 0.18 percentage of authorized hospital admissions under the scheme they have confirmed as fraud so beside routine checks the use of artificial intelligence has now made for comprehensive analytic solutions and it will be helpful to detect fraud proactively by developing algorithms and that can be used on large volumes of data and this will be helpful to identify and suspect transactions and also entities and even hospitals and claims etc so we talking about this scheme we have this national health authority so this national health authority is the implementing agency of this ayushman bharat scheme and it also came up with issuing of some guidelines that is anti fraud guidelines so anti fraud advisories they are also issued to states or union territories and we also having this national anti fraud unit and this unit was created by this national health authority okay for the overall monitoring and it will be helpful for even implementation of anti fraud framework and at the state level it is supported by state anti fraud units so here at the national level and at the state level we have the unit separately so that we can identify the frauds so in this anti anti fraud drive so we talking about some facts regarding this ayushman bharat scheme so this scheme launched uh, launched because of recommendations by this national health policy of 2017 and it will be helpful for achieving of our vision that is universal health coverage and this initiative which has been designed on the lines to meet sustainable development goals especially that is focusing on health and if you are talking about aim of this ayushman bharat scheme it is focusing to undertake path breaking intervention and we are focusing on addressing the health especially prevention promotion and ambulatory care at primary level secondary level and tertiary level so in healthcare so we will be having three stages that is primary healthcare secondary healthcare and tertiary so primary means you will be having primary health center in the, at your villages for example so they will be provide the basic health services but if you see the tertiary we will be having multi specialty hospitals okay and also we are focusing on some centrally sponsored schemes like senior citizen health insurance scheme and rashtriya swasthya bima yojana etc and if we talk about this ayushman bharat which adopts a continuum of care approach and it comprising of two interrelated components so which are those two interrelated components so first one is health and wellness center second one is pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana So we're talking about some key features of this Pradhan Mantri Jan Aarogya Yojana. So it is the world's largest health insurance assurance scheme, and this scheme which is fully financed by government. So if any scheme which is fully financed by government, which comes under which type of scheme? That is Central Sikta Scheme, and it will provides over five lakhs per family per year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization across. public and private m panel hospitals in india so we talking about coverage about 10.74 crore poor and vulnerable entitled families they are eligible for these benefits and under this scheme which provides cashless access to the healthcare services for the beneficiary 
okay so this is about this scheme and now let us talk about next topic it is about center to seek in states inputs to bridge gaps in sex ratio so here you have to focus on what exactly is sex ratio and you have to identify the sex ratio of your state so this will be very important for your knowledge and even for your interview okay so now let us try to see context so here we are having a concern now what is that concern there is decreasing of sex ratio so because of this union health ministry is planning to invite some suggestions from the states for amending one important act that is pre consumption and prenatal diagnostic technique acts of 1994 so what exactly is this act so if you go to any gynecologist or if you are going to any diagnostics especially scanning centers so you can see boards like we are not going to reveal the gender of the fetus so why why because in india we are having an act that is pre conception and prenatal diagnostic techniques act of 1994 under this act which criminalized which criminalized revealing the gender of the fetus and even if you are doing any genetic test also in india this act which ban this act which bans revealing the gender so the ministry has also appealed to the states to support people with disabilities by making it easier to issue disability certificates so we talking about details it says that health ministry has asked the state to design a vision document for the next 25 years regarding how to improve this sex ratio so what exactly is this sex ratio it is nothing but here how many females are present for 1 lakh for 1 lakh sorry for 1000 males so according to the figures of 2011 census so out of the total population 21.1 million population so we have 623.7 million or male and 586.4 million or female so in india overall sex ratio is 1943 and if it's in 2001 it was much less and if you talk about what are the factors why there is a less sex ratio in india so there are three important factors that we have to identify first one is males more males are born than females because of female infanticide and with small family norms many young couples do not go for a second child and if first child is male they are not going for a second child so because of this reason also there is low sex ratio in india and i want to show you this map where the sex ratio is about 1000 and below below or less than 800 so sex ratio is high especially you can see in the southern states in southern states which is high and even in this north eastern states and here in this area okay like himachal pradesh and as well as uh, in haryana region we have good but here especially jammu and kashmir punjab we have low sex ratio and here in the central part of our country also we are having around 900 or 850 like that and next topic it is about pollution effect so this article is very interesting i found it and if you see this article it says that a study has found that insect ability to find food and as well as to find mate had been reduced because of contamination with particulate matter so this pm that is particulate matter 2.5 or particulate matter 10 it will be released from industries and transport bush fires and other source of pollution so what happened because of this uh, increasing of particulate matter in air so it is settling on antennae so like this it will be uh, for the butterflies also you can see <laughs> for bees every insect you can see this antennas so by using electron microscope researchers they found that because of increasing of air pollution what happened because of increasing of air pollution there will be more pollutants in the air so because of this this sensitive antennas of house flies the study which is done in this house flies so this material comprises of solid particles if you say this is house fly for example so it is not looking like house fly but you have to think that this is house fly 
so what happens so because of increasing of pollutants in air so this pollutants will be sitting on this uh, antenna so because of this what happens sometimes this uh, pollutants will also have some toxic heavy metals and as well as organic substances like coal oil petrol wood fires etc and this uncontaminated flies they choose actually uh, whenever there is any pollutants which are set up on this or which had been settled uh, settled on this antenna that means your contaminated flies and if you are comparing with this contaminated with this uncontaminated flies so this uncontaminated flies they will be using why means uh, that is helpful for the smell purpose and for uh, sex uh, pheromones so it is helpful but these uh, contaminated flies it will be having the less ability to smell and as well as sex pheromones so because of this they can't find food and as well as they can't find their meat so this is about this topic and next topic it is about as global temperature soars, cooling needs will increase. So as you all know that even 10th class student also knows that whenever there is increasing of temperature, so we will be using fans, we will be using ACs, we will be using coolers, right? We will be using refrigerators and we will be demanding for cool drinks. So if you see context, it says that Switzerland, UK and Norway, they will experience la relative surge in cooling needs. And if the increase in global mean temperature, which is about 1.5 degrees. So whenever there is increasing of 1.5 degrees temperature to 2 degrees uh, temperature above pre-industrial levels, according to modeling study, which published by National Sustain Nature Sustainability. So this findings also suggested that countries in sub-Saharan Africa will have the greatest increase in the cooling requirements. Especially in this Africa, we can see equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn these three will be passing right so because of this uh, most of the region which is present in the tropical area so because of this sub-saharan africa which is going to have the increased demand for the cooling requirements and if you're talking about paris climate deal or paris agreement of 2015 which aims to limit the rise of global mean temperature to 1.5 degree centigrade and rising of temperatures they are already driving cooling demand and it has been estimated that that by 2050 the energy required by cooling that could be equivalent to the combined electricity capacity of us the european union japan in 2016 and this is the details which given by international energy agency that is iea so based on global atmospheric general circulation model and historical climate data for 2006 to 2016, the researchers they have estimated the annual changes in cooling degree days if 1.5 degree centigrade limit is overshot and warming is increased to 2 degree centigrade. So the cooling degree days compare the mean outdoor temperature of a region to a standard baseline temperature. And the results which shows that regions surrounding the equator and sub-Saharan countries like Central African Republic, Burkina Faso, Mali, South Sudan, Nigeria, they would have the greatest increase in the cooling demand as well. So if we're talking about what is the need now, so immediate and unprecedented adaptation interventions, they are required worldwide to be prepared for the hotter world. So now we have to go for coming up with some adaptation to this heat. And we have to come up with some interventions, some policies are very important to address this global warming. And now let us see next topic it is about CRISPR genetic editing tool to get better wood by wood fibers. So if you're talking about this article which is focusing on technology, technology that is CRISPR. So CRISPR SAS9 which is used for the cutting of DNA. So if you see this uh, context, it says that Despite the importance of wood fibers to meet the growing demand for renewable tissue, paper, packaging, textile and other fiber products, even for the wood fiber production also, we can use this CRISPR genetic editing tool. So if you're talking about this article and the details given in this article which says that CRISPR editing has enabled scientists to design wood, wood in which lignin which must be cleaved and dissolved so that fiber production can take place okay so this will be helpful for wood fiber production 
and if you are talking about the strategic multiplex uh, CRISPR editing which will be also helpful for improving of wood properties and this wood properties it is better than editing the single genes. So now let us try to see how this DNA editing can be done. So first we are going to take one cell. So in that cell, in every cell we will be having nucleus. In this nucleus we will be having genetic material. So we are removing the chromosomes and in this uh, chromosomes we will be having DNA. So in this DNA we will be having nucleotides. So we are identifying the fault nucleotides or fault DNA chain and we will be using this uh, DNA cutting enzyme and we will be cutting this and after that we will be adding the healthy strand or the, we are removing the defective DNA strand and we will be re, uh, replacing with the healthy copy. So in this way we will be going for this DNA editing. So if you are talking about some facts regarding this CRISPR, so CRISPR is nothing but it stands for cluster regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats and this CRISPR it is a gene editing technology and this technology which replicates natural defense mechanism in bacteria and it will be helpful for fight against the virus using a special protein and we are using that protein that is called as SARS-9 protein. So usually it will in, it will involve the introduction of a new gene or the suppression of an existing gene okay it will be helpful for genetic engineering technology. So this CRISPR technology which does not involve the introduction of any new gene from outside. So this CRISPR SAS9 technique which is often described as genetic scissors because wherever we want to cut our DNA so we will be using this CRISPR SAS9 and we can cut. So because of this it is called as genetic scissors that is cut copy paste or find replace mechanism. And next topic is about a chart GPT. Study reveals that using chart GPT that will boost productivity. So now let us try to understand about this chart GPT and if you are going to write this here means so this topic is at most important. So if you see the context it says that the use of chart GPT it is a chart board and this chart board it can generate human like test and text it will raise the productivity in the professional writing task and even it will reduce the productivity inequality as well. So this is a thing which mainly uh, released in the new study. So here generative artificial intelligence technologies, they are becoming quite adept now. That means increasing of technology and because of creative, if you want to come up with the creative things, we have to code difficult, code differently, right? So because of this, we, that becomes the different to uh, difficult to codify the task like writing or image generation. So because of this, whenever you are using this chart GPT, it, it can enhance workers productivity offering the benefits with the people who are having the weaker skills. So we are talking about some facts regarding this chart GPT. It can answer even follow up questions and it can also admit its mistakes. It can also challenge incorrect premises and even reject an appropriate request. And it is also based on the company's GPT 3.5 series of uh, language learning modules and this GPT which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer 3 and this is a kind of uh, computer language model and it will release on deep learning techniques to produce human like text based on inputs. Okay. So next topic it is about artificial intelligence assisted medical devices. So this article is very important. So here this article you can use under applications of artificial intelligence. So if you see the context it says that artificial intelligence predicted race variables from medical images, post risk and opportunities for studying the health disparities and we can also identify some diseases. So here we can also use this artificial intelligence for the medical devices also. So if you are talking about the details, hundreds of artificial intelligence assisted medical devices they are currently used in medical tasks for example for accessing the health risk and as well as diagnosing diseases like cancer. So in diagnosing diseases like cancer and assessing the health risk we are using this artificial intelligence assisted medical devices and even some studies they have shown that artificial intelligence models they can also infer race variables and we can also use in the simplistic categories and even we can use that artificial intelligence in identifying the images like chest x-rays, cardiac, ultrasounds, etc. So this is about the use of artificial intelligence in the medical field. 
So this is about this topic and these are some important current affairs that appear in our today's Hindu newspaper. So before seeing Hindu newspaper PDF, I want to make a small announcement. So in Rathor's IS, we came up with this mains answer writing practice course. So in this course, we are going to give you one year detailed schedule along with micro listing of topics. And every week there will be one question, uh, sorry, every week there will be one essay or case study practice. And every day in the weekdays from Monday to Saturday, you will be having daily one question which will be given based on the schedule. And we will be giving you the modal answer and there will be detailed evaluation of your written answer as well. So there will be doubt clearing session, one to one mentorship and live interactive classes on every Sunday. So this is about this course and the cost of this course is 8200 for one year. And if you can't pay this up amount in the one go, you can also go with installment facility as well. So try to join this course. It will be absolutely very useful. Okay. So now let us try to see today's Hindu newspaper PDF. So this is our today's Hindu newspaper PDF. Date is July 16 and today is Sunday. So the first topic it is about India and UAE set to use rupee dirham for trade. I discussed this topic and you have to see even currencies. So if you are preparing for other bank examinations, you have to see the country, country's capital and country's currency also. So that is very important from your bank examination. But this currency related questions had not appeared even once also in UPSC. Okay, so you can take it light. And I discussed about this topic that is cookies may stick to their regions while rejoining work. And this topic also I discussed that is Ayushman Bharat embraces artificial intelligence to tackle frauds. So if you move forward in this page, you can see illegal coal mining operations structured in Meghalaya. So in Meghalaya, always we will be seeing one issue that is illegal coal mining, that is rat hole mining. So because of this rat hole mining, especially during this monsoon season, there will be over flooding of, uh, overflowing of the rivers and because of this overflowing of rivers, so the people who are working in this rat hole mining, so there is a high risk of losing of their lives also. And if you move forward, here you can see Kuno Cheetahs won't be relocated, says our Union Minister. Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change said that Cheetahs will continue to remain in Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh itself. Uh, and he also said that this project will be successful and we are not going to uh, relocate them to anywhere. So this is the thing which uh, gave the clarity by our Environment Minister. And if you move forward, In this page, you can see revised statement from Modi, Macron drops key points on defense deals. So here you can see our prime minister, he gifted sandalwood, which is uh, sitar, which is made up of sandalwood to French president. And here we have to see what are the highlights of this uh, India, France relations or the our prime minister visit to France. So we are going to get editorials soon. So we are going to discuss that. And next topic is about collegium. Collegium proposes permanent judges for five high courts. So here you have to see appointment of judges to high courts concept, which is present in your Lakshmi Kant. And even you have to see some facts regarding collegium system. So what are the issues that you are facing with the collegium system? And if you move forward, you can see this article that is center to seek states inputs to bridge gaps in sex ratio. So this article is also important. And the world page, you can see Pakistan says militants are given refuge in Afghanistan. So go through this article once. And in the science page, I discussed this topic regarding global temperature source uh, cooling needs. And I discussed this topic regarding CRISPR SAS9 genetic editing tool. And this is one article I didn't discuss, but you have to go through this that is oral polio vaccine. So, yes, we have a target of eliminating polio. And you have to see other countries that have this target and where this polio which is uh, prevalent in our neighboring countries, you have to see that. And I discussed this topic regarding chart GPT and I discussed this topic regarding artificial intelligence assistant medical devices and I discussed this topic regarding pollution effect and this topic is not much important because it is important from, me, uh, from medical point of view but we are not going to get questions in that deep. And in this FAQ page, 
so most of the topics or repeated topics that we can see in this week the first one here is about forest bill and number of times we discuss this topic and next one it is about 25 percent uh, gst on this online gaming so i discuss this topic and i discuss this topic regarding what is the nato stand on ukraine entry and here you can see this topic it is regarding chandrayaan 3 so if you have time you can go through this article and i discuss this topic and here you can see a fighter fleet that is rafale marine so we are going to purchase about 26 rafale marine aircrafts and 36 rafales which are going to be providing the service in air force so here you have to see some facts regarding the SRS Defense Acquisition Council. So these are the some important articles that appeared in our today's Hindu newspaper. By this I am concluding. So if you like this uh, video, please hit the like button. And if you are watching our videos for the first time, subscribe to Rathod Science Academy. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, Telegram groups and as well as WhatsApp groups. So by this I am concluding, thank you so much.